Carpetbagger here, coming to you live from my bunker 33 knots beneath the south. And it is time for the 48,000th subscriber Carpetbagger extravaganza. Before we get started here, I just uh, went out to my P.O. box and uh, John Hebb, who sent me some postcards in the past, sent me this. I'll get really close so you could see what it is. That is actually a pair of Coffin Daffer Crosses. And I've talked about Coffin Daffer Crosses in several of my videos. Maybe if you uh, look up Coffin Daffer Carpet Bagger, my videos will come up. But this is actually a postcard featuring Coffin Daffer Crosses, which I've not seen before. Very, very interesting. And on the back, interesting, it does, obviously whoever wrote this knows the story to some degree. It says a West Virginia businessman was inspired to use his fortune to erect three crosses in various locations along the highway of several states. Interesting, they don't actually use his name. They don't say Bernard Coffin Daffer. And they say several locations when there's really dozens, dozens of locations uh, where his crosses are. I've not been, I've not seen these. I've not seen this actual set of crosses. It's on an island in the middle of a river. I'm going to need to go out there. It's got the address on here. Let me see. Can we see from US 60 in Gauley Bridge? Stands on the Kanawha River. I'm going to head out there at some point. Try to find these. Maybe I can fly the, uh, the drone out and get a good look. Speaking, speaking of the drone, I figured 48,000th subscriber spectacular, I'd shine a little bit of the spotlight on my little friend, Possum One. As you can see, he's got got some stickers on here. My, so my friends in Australia sent me some stickers. I put them on the drone. Plus, I got my Cheerwine sticker. I, I wanted to put more stickers on here, but it's hard finding stickers that actually can 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 find the space because it's all awkwardly shaped. Also, if you look closely, you'll notice that these two legs are being held on with duct tape. I had a had an extreme accident, which I was actually lucky to record recover. The drone for anyone out there who's interested um, in, in purchasing a drone like this, this is the Phantom 4. I recommend the Phantom 4 because it has uh, like security measures. I would have lost Possum 1 if it was a Phantom 3 because they don't have uh, obstacle avoidance, which um, still didn't prevent me from nearly breaking the legs off. What happened was I went like around a corner, there's like a mountain, and I like went around the mountain and it lost signal, and when it loses signal, it returns home automatically. So it turned and returned home right into a tree. For some reason, when it does return home, it cuts out obstacle avoidance for some reason. I don't know why, but it smacked into a tree. It uh, fell probably a good 50 to 100 feet into the ground like that, cracked its legs. I got it pretty secured on there. It's a, it's a little wobblier than it was before. And also the gimbal is all messed up. It, uh, for some reason, every time I reset it, it kind of goes to the side and I have to fix it with my hand. But still, dropping 50 feet in the air, landing on your face, did a pretty good job. It takes a licking and keeps on ticking. And, um, you know, obviously I've been incorporating a lot of the drone footage in my videos, but, um, you know, as I practiced, uh, and sometimes I just fly around for fun. I've gotten some some footage that doesn't necessarily fit into a video, so I figure we'll do another carpet remnants section, and this carpet remnants selection will be footage from Possum 1. Now one question I get is um, the music I play during Possum 1. Uh, I've used a couple different music, but the most common music I use when you hear that, um, the, the acoustic guitar, the slide guitar, that's my brother Dan who has been awesome in sending me music to use with my drone. I've actually, uh, we kind of do an exchange, sometimes I'll send him some drone footage, he'll look at it, or sometimes he'll just send me some random music. Um, I like, I really like how it turns out, and from the comments, looks like a lot of you guys uh, think it's pretty cool as well. Yeah, just uh, yeah, learning how to fly this tricky. I think I wrecked it like three or four times in the in the first week. 
<laughs> if you do get a drone, uh, practice, practice, practice. Um, probably good to use to get it, get used to it flying high. Well, before you fly it low, flying low is where you always get trouble. Like when you fly too close to trees, the the, the propellers will snag a tree branch and kind of like be pulled into the tree. Also, uh, one thing I've learned, because I use it a little differently than some, some people, sometimes I try to use it to, to get views, like in my Ghost Town video, where I drop it down to kind of get a view of the Ghost Town. Um, once your, your remote is out of sight, it kind of loses signal, and then it returns to home. Uh, make sure you set it so when it returns to home that it lifts up as high as possible, otherwise it's going to run into something, and never ever uh, fly it where uh, you're going to have something above it because if you if it does return to home and it, it, it'll shoot up and crack into something break the propellers and drop and you'll lose it i can't believe i still have this it's been what month is it it is i've had it coming up on half a year so so an absolute miracle and i i know someday someday i've prepared myself for this someday i'm going to lose possum one someday it's not coming home and uh the old girl girl she served me well she's been a worthy investment and i hope to continue making videos with her for quite some time so without further ado uh, i'm gonna play the carpet remnants of possum one uh backed up by my brother dan and his acoustic stylings so crack open a cheer wine get yourself a Hardee's baby back rib burger and relax. I almost want this to be like, you know, Soarin' USA at, uh, or uh, Soarin' Over California, the Disney rides. I almost want that to be like a carpet bagger version of that. So I hope you guys enjoy. Mm -hmm. 